nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, guys Here we are, back on the road Yeah We are making our way to Winnipeg Bob tailing again no trailer behind us. And look at this. Beautiful sunshine this fine morning. Well, we're supposed to go to uh, Winnipeg Yard and uh, pick up our trailer. And Winnipeg Yard and then uh, you know where we're going? No. I do. But you guys probably don't know. They're probably as curious as me. Well, we're going to Texas. Apparently, that's where we're going. I guess we'll find out once we receive our paperwork. If that's the case or not, right? Yeah. Well, it looks like at least today is going to be a gorgeous day. Nice and sunny. But it is cold. It is cold. My truck is showing minus two right now. So that's freezing point. Below freezing. Actually, when I left the yard, when I left the home, uh, the whole roof was white. So you can see we had got frost on it. That was for sure. get over to Winnipeg and pick up our load and then uh, go from there. This is it guys. We have picked up our trailer in Winnipeg. 100 meters. Slide yeah. drive on highway 100 East Kenora. And we went over to the uh, Headingley uh, Flying J up here. I had to get some fuel. And uh, I was also curious about how heavy the load was so is when they uh, given me the paperwork there they uh, had a printout of a scale ticket there at, uh, and I assumed it was been picked up by a day cab truck and he had scaled it and uh, according to that I was right on the 34,000 mark on the uh, on, this road for on the trailer so I wanted to make sure I scale it before I fuel up because you never know right because the day cab is usually way lighter than a uh, highway tracker is, you know. So uh, I went up there to the Flying J and scaled it. Yeah, so we were good. We had uh, 33,600 on the trailer and 29,000 on the drive. So, you know, I was good to go, right? So I just was able to fuel up all the way. So we got our tanks full. I got like 780 liters, which was 206 gallons worth the fuel that we got. And I could tell they have winter fuel up here already because uh, it looks like water, completely clear, you know? Which on winter fuel, you don't get as good fuel mileage generally as you do on uh, summer fuel, but hey, that's the way it is. Now we got a long way to go and a short time to get there. That's the wording that they use in one of the movies, I think. Yeah. Because technically they want me to deliver already most of this stuff on Monday. Which ain't gonna happen. No way. Because it's like Saturday and it's already at 11 o'clock right now. And uh, it's like 2,500 kilometers to go yet. So that's like at least two and three quarter days worth of driving, you know? At least in my books. So that could be Monday late afternoon by the time I get to the first place, you know? I might, I might all depending on how far apart they are, 
I just might get one or two places off on Monday. Maybe. Maybe. I'm thinking more towards Tuesday. And apparently, uh, Wednesday is a holiday, so... up here but I've been getting across this border quite regularly you know, lately you know it's kind of strange every once in a while it'll be like for a couple of you know bunch of trips I'll be going down this border and then all of a sudden I won't go across here for months you know but that's the way it is hard as a trucker you never know where to send you but this is the easiest way to get across the border to uh, Texas. Yeah, that's it. Let's put the hammer down and uh, I'm planning on stopping in Fargo, North Dakota. And hopefully, uh, hopefully the truck wash ain't gonna be crazy busy because I need a truck wash. I really do. My truck looks like shit right now. So if I could get me a truck wash over there, that would be awesome. Clean my truck up real good. It looks nice and shiny on the hood, but if you look on the side or the rear of my truck, a lot of sand on there and dust. I mean, my truck is really, really dirty. So let's go over there and see. See what happens. Well, guys, here we are. We just ahead. finished. Uh, Getting our truck wash done. Yeah, we are still in Fargo. And I know it's kind of late already, but, uh, well, we got here around quarter to three. And it's like quarter to five right now. By the time we finally get out of here, but hey, whatever. We finally got our truck wash and she's looking really good. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to get me a good truck wash. These guys did an awesome job. So we are uh, very happy about that. So let's put the hammer down and... Uh, In 2.5 miles, keep to the left. Go a little further south. We got a long ways to go yet. I would like to get at least 100 miles in today. More than what I have already. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, that should be doable. That should be doable. At least I would think so. <laughs> yeah. But, at least we have some nice sunshine. We had some nice sunshine all day long. And here we are. We are in Fargo, North Dakota. That's right. Uh, 1317 miles to go yet so I would really kind of like to get at least 100 miles in that way uh, I could probably make it there by uh, Monday evening you know so that way I can start doing my deliveries uh, Tuesday morning but anyways let's put the hammer down and get somewhere south. Hopefully we can make it into South Dakota tonight. That should be no problem, I think. We should make that. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. We are done for today. We are in Watertown, with South Dakota. I almost said Wisconsin, but we are in South Dakota. Yeah, I got a oversize right here beside me. Yeah, he's parked. There's actually two of them out here, but uh, yeah, we're done for today. Dark already, obviously. 
but uh, at least no more rain or snow or anything like that has been happening today so yeah truck is looking pretty good there outside today maybe tomorrow sometime throughout the day maybe I'll get to uh, show you guys the truck a little bit and uh, you'll get to see it looks really nice right now but we are done I stocked up on my uh, fridge today so I got me lots of food in the truck so I don't have to go in the restaurant and eat anymore so but other than that we got 1177 miles to go to our first delivery that's two full solid days worth of driving yet so but that being said we are done for today I do want to give uh, some shout outs though let me go check that out well dry shaft drew is one of them that I, I want to give a shout out he's from Winnipeg he's got some uh, nice videos out there and uh, so I figured I'd give him a shout out and who else did we have up here oh yeah I remember we had a uh, we had a trucker that drives for uh, for H and R, that has his own YouTube channel as well, and I'm kind of hoping that I can uh, pronounce his name right. Let me just go see if I can find my. I don't know. Facebook changed their darn app here. No, that's difficult to manage. You know, I don't know why they got to do this, but. They did, no, on the page part, it's kind of difficult to actually see anything. Or I don't see really the messages part, you know. You see, oh, there we go, now I can open it up. Yeah. And uh, let me go open up his uh, channel link. And I'll check it out, and I'll see. Let's see if I can open this up in in the uh, Google uh, or YouTube app. See if he can actually open it up over there. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. All right. This video is probably going to start playing here, but. Anyways, uh, I see his channel here now, and I checked some of his videos out, and he's got some nice videos out there, so I would give him a shout out. So, the name he goes by is Over the Road Ross, and I think that's, I'm, I'm hoping I'm saying the name right, but it's R-O-W-O-S-N. Yeah, that's right, so go check him out. I'm going to try and remember to leave the link for his channel uh, down in the description box so you can go check him out and also for Drive Shaft Drew he's from Winnipeg area there it's Dry Shaft space Drew I'm going to see if I can remember to put his link in there as well and uh, if he's watching if you're watching my video I've been watching some of uh, your videos the lady the latest ones anyways and uh, I also subscribe to your son's channel. Now I just saw today that he's actually going to quit making YouTube videos according to what he said. Now hopefully that's, uh, he's going to change his mind on that because uh, I really enjoyed watching uh, his videos as well. Star Puss, that's what his channel was called. And uh, yeah. I mean, he's got a great channel going for him, but uh, if you guys uh, wouldn't mind giving me a shout out as well, that would be kind of nice on your channels and let people know about my channel. So I give you guys a shout out. So hopefully you will return that back to me as well. And other than that, uh, I think we got pretty much nothing else. So. We'll go to bed here pretty soon. We'll probably render this video and then we'll go to bed. So, and we'll see you again on the next one. So, stick around.
We'll see you. We'll be able to show you tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall.